Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick little video here of where I'm at with this this generator. So I've got <clears throat> these three coils here and then I got one over here as well with some more magnets on that side. So I'm just going to pedal this thing up here and you'll notice that clear light bulb down there it will light up a little bit. That's a 40 watt light bulb. Let's get it down here. Set the speed. That's about 500 RPM. It works best if I turn it on and off. I just keep spinning. goes for quite a while. Yeah, I'm not adding anything to it. I just keep spinning. There's some drag. There's quite a bit of drag in the bearings and stuff. So um, and also lots of it's an old piece of junk stationary bike I picked up just to play around with this this whole uh, concept. These are from microwave oven transformers. And I think I can get I can get more power out of this thing if I these are just cheap ceramic magnets on here. If I add neodymium magnets or uh, rare earth magnets, I get a lot more power out of these coils. And also if I close the gaps more. But that's kind of kind of a pain to do because these are all bracketed on here now. Anyway, I'll just cranking this up with my hand a little bit. See the light bulb. If I let the capacitor charge up for a couple seconds, it makes it a much more powerful discharge. Yeah, it gets up to uh, about 120 volts. I'll just show you the RPM right now. Right now it's 284. And giving me a fair bit, bit of juice there. Crank it up. Five hundred RPM. That's just cranking it up. My hand like this. And it just gradually slows down. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much momentum out of the wheel. In fact, I can't even tell if it's taking anything out of the wheel. It just keeps generating. Which is really important because a lot of because generators they just when you load them down they electrically when you take power out of them they tend to slow down more and break and so it takes more energy going into the generator uh, to keep the same electrical output but this doesn't seem to matter what the output is I short it. short it out it doesn't really slow it down which is very interesting it's not really breaking like it like a conventional generator would and here's a 60 watt bulb it's dying down now I'll wind it up again to about 500 rpm Okay, there we go, I just wound it up to speed. So it's pretty constant there. Turn it off for a second. On and off. 60 watt bulb. Anyway, there's more work to do on this thing. It's, it's not where it, it could be potentially, I believe. So yeah, 